What should I do about box crypter? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. I was taken by surprise earlier this week when I learned that box crypter, the cloud storage encryption utility that I've been recommending actually for a long time, several years and using for several years has been sold to Dropbox. Now, their relationship obviously makes a tremendous amount of sense, but unfortunately, the announcement and the concept actually basically leaves a lot of open questions. So I want to go over what those questions are, where, what the state of the world is today, and what I think we should be doing if we are current Box Cryptor users. First of all, Box Cryptor has made it very clear that Box Cryptor itself will continue to work. The interesting thing is that you can't create a new Box Cryptor account. So if you're not using Box Cryptor today, you can't use it tomorrow. It's not something you can set up and start using. But for those of us who have been using it for a long time, it will continue to work, which is great news, kind of because there are a lot of open questions with respect to that continuing to work. For example, how long? If they stop development on it, if they stop supporting it, clearly they're not accepting new customers for the product, then eventually that support is going to go away. It's just going to have to. The user base will slowly diminish over time. How soon will that happen? In the interim, will there be updates if there are vulnerabilities found or if, as I've experienced, an operating system update actually makes a change that breaks Box Cryptor? There's no answers to these questions. They've left that open. The other concerning part, and this is a little bit less stated, they've been sold to Dropbox. What does that mean for their support? on other platforms like OneDrive or Google Drive or any of a number of other cloud sharing services that compete with Dropbox. Will their priorities change? Will the eventual Dropbox integration be the only thing that they end up supporting? We just don't know. There are so many unanswered and open questions currently. They've promised emails to existing users explaining the path forward in more detail. It's been a week at least since the announcement as I record this, and I've not seen any such email. I've not seen that explanation, and I'm dearly, dearly looking forward to reading exactly what they have planned for us. However, I think it's pretty clear that eventually, as we know it today, will simply be no more. What that means is that if you are looking into or if you were evaluating, it's not an option for you anymore. If you are using, you know, you and I, we should probably look at alternatives. There's no rush. It still works. It's not something you have to jump on immediately but I suspect that sometime within the next few weeks or months, it's probably something that you want to do. You want to evaluate an alternative to keeping your information safe in the cloud. I've actually done this. Because I expect a plethora of questions resulting from this sale, I've actually made the change. I have switched 100% to using Cryptomator. Cryptomator is essentially an equivalent tool. It does the same kinds of things. There are differences in the details, of course, but the fundamental functionality of Cryptomator is in fact exactly the same. So that is a very viable tool. And in the 24 hours that I've been using it, since as I record this video, um, it's working and it's working fine. It's actually working very well for me. I used it years ago and I've been recommending both Cryptomator and Boxed Cryptor since that time. I used it many years ago. I stopped using it because of some technical incompatibility that quite honestly, I don't recall anymore. The bottom line is that today, its current version is solving all the problems that I need solved. So I'm very happy with it. Like I said, I've switched to it. And if I were to point you at a replacement for Box Cryptor, it would in fact be Cryptomator today. 
Do you have to do anything quickly? No, if you're using Box Scripter, keep using it. This is not a time for panic. This is not a time for rash, poorly thought out decisions. It is a time, however, to realize that, yep, change is coming. Chances are sometime within the next few months, you're probably going to want to switch away from Box Scripter. Now, all of this, of course, I have to throw out the big caveat, all of this is in a vacuum. We have a lot of, uh, we have a lack of information from Box Scripter. They may provide us with more information, more clarity on a path moving forward. But until then, I think the assumption we have to make is it's going to be time to change sometime soon. I hope that helps explain where we are and why it is so muddy, because it is very muddy, don't get me wrong. Uh, but for the time being, what I would have you do is at least think about it and be prepared. For comments, for updates, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com 151184. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.